Welcome to another episode of Rudderless, and this episode is day two of two days in the capital city of Slovenia. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. The good thing about having foodie friends who are travel bloggers in high places like the two food trippers is that they always recommend the best stuff. So first stop is Stowe Coffee Roasters and that's in the, our city museum and that's where we're gonna head to now. Unfortunately, the weather sucks. It's still raining. It's actually coming down really hard, but I can't control that. So I'm still gonna try to make the best of it. All right. So, a specialty coffee roaster and cafe here in Ljubljana. It's known for adding its own unique flair on the coffee scene in Slovenia. Aside from being a trend-setting coffee house, Sto is also known for their coffee academies and their own special coffees. Caffeinated and ready to face off with this weather, next stop is the Cobbler's Bridge. Built between 1931 and 1932, Cobbler's Bridge stands over what used to be a wooden bridge that got its name from the cobblers who used to set up their workshops and make handcrafted shoes. So it's been raining like non-stop. Um, I've just left the Cobbler's Bridge, which is about that way. Um, now I'm on my way to the Triple Bridge. Um, I tried to wait out the rain a little bit with a, uh, a beer, a union beer. It's a local beer made here in Ljubljana. Um, but the rain doesn't want to seem to stop. So I guess we're playing that game because I'm not going to stop either. So next stop is the Triple Bridge. All right, let's get going. Since we saw the Triple Bridge yesterday, we are heading up to the castle. So we're here. This is a very beautiful castle. The sun actually came out, so that means that all my footage is now going to be all messed up because I'm going to have rain and sun. Um, but lucky for us, the sun came out. Um, this is day two and we're starting day two off at the castle. The sun came out, the weather is all beautiful. Um, so let's get at it. Ljubljana Castle is important to Ljubljana for a couple of reasons. Aside from being the main tourist attraction, the castle is one of the key pieces of architecture in Slovenia's capital. The Ljubljana Castle is the largest and most frequently visited castle in the city. Visitors can enjoy all sorts of events year-round at the castle, as well as a peaceful stroll along the castle grounds. Up here on the castle grounds, you'll also find the Museum of Puppetry. The Museum Puppetry as part of the Ljubljana Puppet Theater houses the National Collection of Puppetry, which is being constantly updated. The museum owns around 6,000 material artifacts and more than 3,000 puppets, all an important part of the Slovenian cultural heritage. I'm off to meet Zemaya again. She knows I love beer, and she loves taking me to these off-the-beaten-path beer spots. This time, she brought along her sister and her father, who used to be one of Gordana's mother's students. I guess we're all playing hooky today, and we're out bar hopping. Time for a snack. Vino and Ribe. The name really says it all, wine and fish. Best described as a gourmet takeaway seafood joint. The menu consists of sardines, pickerels, calamari, and various types of fish which are either fried or grilled in a green egg and served up piping hot. St. James Parish Church is dedicated to St. James the Greater, one of the 12 apostles and the first apostle to be martyred. I guess we're doing wine now. 
the Wine Bar Šukle offers more than 300 different types of wine from Slovenia and all over the world. Their specialty, the so-called Vino Music Mood, according to which guests are offered a wine which reflects their music mood. Ice Cream Time Galleria Romantica offers a daily fresh selection of the best creamy gelatos, refreshing sorbet, energizing juices, and icy Sicilian granitos. Handmade out of solely natural ingredients and according to the traditional recipes of the Italian gelato masters. And the final spot, Cuddy Sart Pub. Off the beaten path, Cuddy Sart Pub, an Irish pub, has everything, and the outdoor patio is perfect for enjoying the city breeze and sights while indulging in quality drinks. In the next video, I'll review the Bite Mojo app and one of its Ljubljana food tours, which is responsible for bringing you all the foodie spots in both day one and day two of these Ljubljana videos. Then we head over to the magical Lake Bled and I'll hang out with the two food trippers, two of my favorite travel food bloggers. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to click the little bell to be notified of new videos. In the comments below, tell me about what you loved or if you visited Ljubljana, what did you enjoy the most? I'll see you next week. Cheers.